what happens is we get too confident with this overhook. And when we try to push into our opponent, our hips get above them. And what does that give them? Everything. Yeah. I've seen too many guys get too confident with their hips. Internationally, I had a teammate. His name's Promise Mwanga. He's a lot older than me. He was at the Pan Am Games in the bronze medal match against the Cuban. The Cubans are pretty good. He was winning. And he got in this position. And uh, he's a really athletic guy. He thought he would do a cartwheel here to get out, which looks like, <laughs> like that to get out. But as soon as you leave your feet in any of these positions, it doesn't matter if I'm out front and I jump and leave my feet, you're going for a flight against somebody like a Cuban. Okay? It seems obvious now to him it didn't. So <laughs> my goal would be to get my hips away from this position. Square up. And square up. Because you do not try to score with a what? Advantageous position. position. Shorten it without position. This is not position, it's deceiving. When I jump over, all he has to do is load my hips to win the position. That's why he's knee fighting to get hip position. The same thing works when we're standing. So if I have an overhook and we're in this position, a lot of times the pressure builds because we're both driving. It builds. That's the same position as when we're on our knees. If he tries to jump over my hip, it's the same thing. I did that with one hand. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. It's an easy way to bring yourself a medal at the beginning of the game. Okay? This is very key when I usually get out of Those exact same throws can be done um, with the overhook too, though. Okay, that's the problem. So, people think the same throw can be done with the And that's how I so, so I get that one. People think I can hold my hip here. Now this is different Lower because hips. what position did he just put himself in? The window, with the hips. Yeah. There you go. If Lower. he goes over, I win yeah. no matter what. But what do we talk about? You want with an underhook? Where do you want to be with your knee? Behind or in front? In front. In front. So that's why it makes such thing as a knee fight. Yeah, you want to get in front. Okay, so I just drilled what I want you guys to do. This one, the person with the underhook is going to be looking for the knee position. It's going to be my job, so he'll be looking for the knee position to come out front. Now, I'm in an advantageous position. Have we been there yet, guys? The front head and arm? You can use the barrier head to go behind, as long as you're controlling ankle. Okay, so you start side by side. We're going to start here. He's going to be trying for knee position. I'm going to get out front with my hand nice to the back. Isolating that shoulder. The further this arm gets from his body, the weaker it gets. Even though that's a big arm, I can break it pretty quick by putting pressure into that shoulder joint. Here. Break through our arm drags behind. Our bury the head. Go behind. And all your other techniques to get behind. But the philosophy is, for them with their knees in front, usually wins. Underhooks usually win. So with an overhook, rather than challenge the hip, you get up front to an advantageous position before we think about scoring. It's a cat and mouse scene. The Sean, cat has the underhook, the mouse has the overhook. Sean, can we do it one more time? I just want to see one more time. I just want to say something. Okay, so when Sean Day squares up, watch what he does. See what he does to his hips? He doesn't square up high. He sinks his hips back when he squares up. Right? I guarantee you we're going to see a lot of people square up and keep their chest high. Who's in a better position? There you go. Right? So anytime you're in the front head and arm, where do you want to be? See how he sucks himself back? He has his shoulder right in the top of the neck here, right here. He's not up here. He's here. Why is he not up here? Because his weight is too high. Get the hips back. So again, it's a philosophy thing. This position happens everywhere. It happens here, standing. You know, it happens when you're over under a little bit. This position is very similar. If I have an underhook on this side, an overhook on this side, which side should I be trying to score on? The underhook side. Right? But how many times do you see kids start to throw here? 
All he has to do is step in front and he takes it over. Same philosophy. Ready, ready. 